Roy, the Olympics and uh, demonstration sports, I, I, look, it was just terrific to have those demonstration sports all in Brazil and with skateboarding coming in. And You can see how the Games are starting to talk to a whole new demographic in terms of youth and age. And, yeah. you know, eventually, you know, you just have to say farewell to shot put because kids don't want to throw lumps of iron around anymore. I don't know why. The romance of the shot put needs to be written up front and centre by the time we get to Tokyo. And, of course... I'm not writing off shot put making a comeback. As the society increases in bulk and we get more chumpsters uh, on the uh, go, mm. I can see some of these kids thinking, well, there is a sport for me and it's not the 100 metres, it's not the 45-step ballet, it's the shot put. Yes. Uh, but having said that, Roy, yeah. a late inclusion into the Tokyo demonstration sports is the sport of jousting. Oh. Now, I think the Game of Thrones is largely responsible to this, the television show, that excellent television show, yes. uh, where jousting became front and centre as a way of determining good and evil. Oh, wow. But I know you're connected to the Lithgow area, and, of course, Lithgow is the home of Iron Fest, mm. Australia's own jousting competition. It is, yeah. I'm just wondering if you can see... Yeah. and the United Kingdom yeah. linking arms and yeah. pushing on with jousting yeah. as an Olympic sport. Well, you know, I, I, jousting has its doubters, and I was one of them. Uh, when I got the invitation to go to Iron Fest a number of years ago, I thought, oh, well, this is just going to be nonsense, you know. And uh, I had the greatest surprise of my life. I've never seen anything more exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a small rail fence mm -hmm. uh, put in, and then horses come with riders attached from either side, coming towards each other with a very long lance. lance. <laughs> and and, and the idea is to hit the other person with your lance uh, as you pass them by. Correct. It requires great skill and enormous courage. Mm -hmm. And to see the looks on those kids' faces when you saw a bloke cop a lance in the head, you know, and off he goes... Baldale, you know, the ambulance comes in, St John's people, terrific people, uh, cut them off to the hospital. Uh, Lithgow Hospital does a to does terrific business when Iron Fest is on. With medieval injuries. With medieval injuries, yeah. And some of the doctors well, are scratching their heads see, saying, I've never seen a head like this, you know, taking photographs, posting them online and scaring a lot of people. It's a terrific thing, Yeah, you know. <clears throat> so I, uh, th there's no reason why... I mean, I can see implications where you're going to get the horses. You've, you've got quarantine issues. I know. I'm getting sure. the horses over there early. Sure. Uh, are the Brumbies, Australian Brumbies, good uh, jousters? I think they are. Right. I think they're pretty good. Right. Uh, I know your European horse, your jousting horse, is a much bigger horse than the Brumby, but the, with your Brumby, you can come from underneath. Yeah, true, true, true. Now, yeah. the one big thing, though, mm. would, would drugs be involved in some way, either for <clears> the horse and rider? Oh, well, I think you'll find in Lithgow with Ironfest that most of the people who are involved in the jousting are heavily drugged uh, because it's the sort of sport you wouldn't do if you were of clear mind, can I say. Now, you've got to be totally off your face. And usually uh, and it's an Ironfest tradition that, uh, you know, <clears throat> an announcer just goes around and says, anyone want to get involved in the jousting? Anyone put your hand up? You know, idiots, idiots off their face. Oh, here goes a go. On they get, <laughs> and off they go. And, and there's no reason why you couldn't do that in the Olympic oh, context. No, that's true. You know, just that's walk true. amongst the fans, you know, any Aussie fans here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Want to represent Anyone the Green want to represent gold? Australia, the Green and Gold? Yeah, come on. Hop on. Let's go. Here's, we've got a Brumby here for you. Um, look, it's terrific. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, um, it's of the people. True, true. Doesn't have tickets on it. No. Itself. No, no, no. no. It's, it's, it's of the people. And it's one of those new sports that I would encourage. Mm -hmm. But, uh, does it talk to kids? It does talk to kids. And the other thing I, I, I would like to see as a new Olympic sport is gaming. Gaming? Why are we talking about gaming as an Olympic sport? Oh. You know, Grand Theft Auto Five. Oh, yeah, I know. I've Your been gold at, medal in I've Grand been, Theft Auto. I've been at the Olympic movement for years about this. Yes. We've got to get technological games in. Yes. I think texting is a great thing. Put up a page of something and see so you can quickly text yes. it. Yes. Games, of course, Grand yes. Theft Auto, all of them have to be involved. Imagine the Olympic edition of Grand Theft Auto. I know. And people would play it for probably experts would be able to get it, knock it over a brand new one in about 15 minutes. Yes. It would be so exciting to see them do it. It would be great to watch. It would.